So I'm just wondering, uh, we have all this science here. Where is the science coming from, and where is the science going to? Because everything else is just like farming villages and such. Welcome back to Tingle's Balloon Ship of Love. Previously, we managed to woo a clerk, but uh, now we need to get jobs. Or we'll never get a passport. Uh, Lovia isn't hiring, and Bariki is kind of running out of options here in the science area. And she's made out of science. In fact, this is Orbital Industries. Oh, also I did some fishing on, like, page three. Yeah, these are the fish you could catch on page three, in that river that the spoiler hermit was drowning in. You get the dumb snapper, you get the unseen trout, and you get the dullet. Also, I got a bunch more bait now, too. I went back to page seven and did some worm farming. But Bariki, robot! Seriously, what are you doing with all these robots? The west side, huh? Oh, that seems like a clue. You, robot, tell us about job. Did you hear anything about the west side? Lion, you're not a robot. You're definitely not a robot. You might be able to apply, like, 500 force, but this robot could do, like, a thousand. You're out of its league. Is he talking about Bariki, or is he talking about Tingle? I'd like to think both. So, Bariki, analyze. Ah, the laws of robotics are still applying. That's good. Well, that is a loophole, isn't it? Can't harm humans, and you can't let humans come to harm. But you also harm a human, because humans are violent to each other. That's why robots and birds are better. Did you ever see a bird hurting another bird? Except for, like, you know, food. Because, you know, nature sucks. That's why you hurled that right over our heads, right? It's gentle technology! It's kind of like Marvin, but in reverse. It's kind of like those sighing doors in robot form. I, I wanted to talk to Robot. Oh, oh, Robot cannot speak to us because Robot is busy doing robot things. They keep robots busy. So we had to wait. And you are! Congratulations! Unless you're actually receiving the work. Can't do two things at once. Dr. G's inventions. Yeah, tell us more about a Dr. G. You want? I think I've seen this guy before. Actually, I've seen him twice. So that person that's popping out of Bariki's head from time to time is Mr. G. Or Dr. G. Don't call him Mr. He got a degree for a reason. That looks like he left the science sector. We're now in clown sector. Well, maybe we could get a job being ice cream clown or whatever this guy is. He is selling ice cream. Well, I knew that. Because I'm psychic. Hi, you're a clown! It's Glio's Tasty Ice Cream! Ow, that's some expensive ice cream, and I don't have a lot of money left. Let's go for it. Uh, let's go with, uh, double. Let's go with vanilla. Ah, I saw banana there. I should have got that. Damn. I mean, nuts. Oh, hey, speaking of nuts, let's go with nuts. And I always get it in a cup. Cones are kind of runny. Ah, oh, giraffe. 
I really should have went with banana. Now we got an ice cream wafer. That's a good thing. I guess. Never heard of an ice cream wafer before. This is one expensive ice cream wafer, I gotta tell ya. I think I got ripped off by Glio. I'm never coming back to this business again. You've ripped me off for the last time, Glio. I will end you. I am Tingle. Master of money. Welcome to Seagull Park, where I will kill this clown. So I looked at that sign for a very specific reason. You'll never know until the end of the game. Also, there's a fish fellow here. You know, just a fish fellow. I have no idea why he's there to this very day. He's just kind of here? Is he studying humans or something? I can't even analyze him because he just talks. See? It's Troy Bien. Hey, what is this dude doing? Oh, yeah, the office is just like over there and through the science sector. So he's moving to the city. So he has to get a job first. That's important. And look, the ferry station. They're constantly loading up on trains all day, every day. Trains are really popular in his kingdom for some reason. And also we got a fishing spot right here. So this is the last fishing spot in the game. This is the page 10 fishing spot. I didn't mean to do that. In fact, I didn't mean to do this either. I wanted to do this. Let's try our luck at some fishing while we're here. I got the bait to do so. I got some blues and yellows. Tons of them. I should have my fast forward ready. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, we got a fish already. A Fugu Custom. Yeah, I don't know what a Fugu is, but I'm pretty sure it looks like a puffer fish. And this one's custom. It's a fancy city fish. Meanwhile, enjoy the 60 frames per second kind of, sort of, waves coming in. Yeah, we didn't catch anything that time. I was busy talking. I'm just gonna look for Wiggles. Like that. I see Wiggles. I like to exploit the fast forwarding just a little bit. Oh, look at that! It's another fish! The Mecha Marlin! Well, if I didn't know any better, I think there's like one more fish in this area. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we could catch it. Wouldn't that be amazing? No wiggles. Not even gonna try. Here, rapid fire seagulls cawing at you. They want that fish. It is theirs. Oh, 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 that was a wiggle. I, I thought it wasn't going to be one. Well, drat. That's I get for being impatient. There's no impatience in fishing. Oh, it's a broken rod. Alright, I'll just try one more time. I'm gonna throw in a yellow worm and see what we got. Come on, third fish! You can do it! You love yellow worms! Get out here! Ah! Alright, we're gonna have to find that another time then, because I don't want to waste all of our time going fishing. Well, he'll be here forever. But at least he caught a Fugu custom and a Mecha Marlin. That's some of the fish that we need for the, the stamping sheet. Blue and cool looking! I think it is a fish! It developed among sunken weapons! It's a robo-fish. There's robo-fishes in this world, too. Oh, no! Well, there goes our ice cream wafer. That's sad. Oh, well. Not like we really need it for anything. It's just, like, steal my money. That's all it's there for. Oh, we have the seagulls here, at least. He's resting. Maybe he knows something about the neighborhood. Lion, translate. I think that was Crow. I guess he's multilingual. Well, I, I imagine anybody would do that. Is says. You mean it says. Or he says. 
Translators! So he wants to eat an ice cream wafer. I, I gotta tell you right now that absolutely nothing happens when you do that. He doesn't even eat the ice cream wafer, he just whines about it. Because he's a seagull. That's all they do is whine. Buy ice cream? Get tickets! I didn't get any tickets! I didn't get a ticket at all! Galeo ripped me off twice! Cat's looking a little stressed out, though. Both of them are. Don't do that. Be nice to other cats. Uh, Lion, can you uh, break up this fight a little bit? Well, of course he would speak cat. He's a lion, after all. I just wish he wouldn't look so creepy when he did it. So, that orange cat does not like the look of this black cat. I don't like the look of the black cat either! It's look what I found cat! Stop causing fights at all the other alley cats, you mangy feline. Go back to being a naked train or an ostrich or something. Oh, thank goodness I have enough rupees for this. That would have been upsetting. But we got ourselves the arbor map. Okay, thanks a lot, look what I found, cat. Would you stop being, like, tremendously furry? Because it's upsetting me a little bit. Now, okay, now you just... You just went into other kin territory and I'm set now. What is wrong with him today? I mean this entire game. That's what I mean by today. So, this looks like a peaceful spot that doesn't have look what I found, kid, at it. There's even a telescope. Luckily, I have enough rupees for this, too. I don't think there's a lot of places to make rupees around here. You know, you gotta work. So, this is a nice look at the clouds. Nice weather today. That must be the kingdom we're heading to. The city must be over there. That's probably gonna be our last few pages. We're coming up to the end. And the end is still far away. Oh, no. Well, I guess there is a timer on it. Poor science guy. Dr. G is a little... He's mistreating his uh, employees a little bit there. Oh, so Dr. G is not with Orbital Industries anymore? Oh, I think I know where this is going. He wanted to meet Dr. G, and he ended up with a crappy boss instead. Well, it sucks to be him. The yellow road is the road of encounters. Don't forget your passport. I'm working on that, okay? Jeez. Oh, hey, look, shiny. Well, that's because you're a scientist. You're too busy working. Must be a slow news day. Yeah, it's like it was just convenient that a protagonist was walking by as you did this. Alright, uh, I don't think I want a newspaper anymore. That was bad advertising. Orbital Industries, get mistreated by your boss. Well, I want shiny thing. A key? Keys are always useful. I'll take this. An eight! You ran into me. I have four witnesses. Yeah, what about it? I, I don't have it. It's missing! What happened to the key, I wonder? I don't know, but we should be a gentleman. Let's help the crashed into lady. Yeah, she's kind of mean. I really don't like her, but, you know, she's a lady. Hey, I didn't ask you about a key. Get up at any time. I'm trying to help you out here. 
No. I think you're playing it up a little bit too much. I think she's being an accident faker! She was sprinting before. Medical analysis. <laughs> well, don't judge everything by its cover, Bariki. Come on. Fashion and domestic articles. That sounds like a romance hint. So let's try a love push. So, what would she like? Ah, uh, I got lots of level one things here. Here, have this moist meter. You love moist meters. Oh no, I've seen this before. I should have remembered, I have better items now. So we have the wrong level. All our level up one items are no longer going to work on her. So it's time for the Tinglometer! She's level two. She likes tools and hobbies. She hates decorations and... Style's kind of in a... No man's land because you can't really get level two style yet. And she's a story character. And she likes everything but pretty. So, I don't have any level 2 style. I don't think we'll ever get level 2 style and be able to trade with her. I do have... no level 2 food. Fun fact is that once you get level 2 items, they're retroactive. I could go back to like page 6 or page 7 or page 8, and Love You will be selling me level 2 items. He has level 2 food, and we'll check that out later. She hates decorations, and I got kind of a lot of those. But I also have lots of level 2 food tools. I was about to say food. Why? Because there's O's in there? It's silly. Let's see, she hates everything but pretty. Which means that she would like the secret buoy. She's so shady she doesn't want people to know she can't swim. Well, you're not exactly dying in the first place. We could see through you. This whole ploy isn't fooling us. Do you want a banana hammer? Well, you can't have one, because it's pretty, and you hate that. Oh, that's pretty too. Here, have a meteor weight. This will probably catch a few bucks with your fence. And you actually can't skip this dialogue, so every time that happens, I, I have to let it run. Let's see, this is pretty. This is pretty. She can't have the beeping knife, she's not allowed. She's faking an accident right now. No golden goose for you either. No fruit basket. Here, have this money, Dex. You seem to be interested in money. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to throw something at her for a little bit more. Because that's not potent enough. And also, it's not even, like, a, a thing that tracks your money. It's just, like, pictures of currency. So we kind of gypped her a little bit. Ah, uh, she hates decoration all around, and I don't have any other level 2 things. So I'm gonna have to give her something out of here. The banana is kind of there, so you know what? You can have the ketchup in. You can't have my banana hammer! It was semi-effective. Yeah, well, you know what? You were love-pushed. So the heck with you. <laughs> and we love-pushed an old lady. Nothing creepy about that. And you're absolutely dishonest. Yeah, about that key that you took from us. Yeah, that key. Yeah, because you were trying to steal it! No, it belongs to me now. I've love pushed you. You will give in to the power of Tingle. 
So we traded her about maybe five, six hundred rupees worth of goods just to get the key back. A rusty key. What is she going to do with it? It's probably to something important like a treasure chest. Yeah, that's what you say after you gave it to me. Yep, yeah, it's time to meet your fence and get rid of all the stuff you just got off me. Yeah, gotta watch out for them thieves. You know, you know those thieves that aren't here? Lion, it took you that long to figure it out. We're in the port. We're like the demi-city right now. They're gonna have unscrupulous people everywhere. Oh, that kid doesn't look very happy. Cleo's tasty ice cream rips off millions. They had to shut down for embezzlement. I don't trust that Glio guy. There's something wrong with him. Now how can I get a newspaper? Cat, how do I get newspaper? Now this is a much more happier cat. It's probably the cat from before, too. Oh, we can't get to the newspaper because there's some kind of thing in our way. Hey, wait. Gas apple? Vegetable village? I know these things. Drat, if I could only get closer. We got this thing in the way. Now, who leaves a forklift in the middle of the street? Ah, oh, we can't get through this way. Unless... Lion! Oh. I can't call up Lion. I can't call the powers of Lion for that one. No, that means it's something... plot-specific. So we're gonna have to take the long way around. So we had to go this way to get, like, a key and get ripped off and get some fish and run out of rupees. And that's about it. Seagull will never, ever get an ice cream wafer. To heck with him. You know what? I might as well prove it. Even though I don't really have any money anymore. What is this thing? Oh no, my wafer! I didn't even know what the icon looks like until just now. Buddy, I broke it. I have a soggy wafer now. He doesn't care. He doesn't care because he already has my money. Hi, Galeo. You gave me a bad wafer. I don't wanna. I don't wanna! No! I changed my mind because the last one melted. The heck with you. The heck with you. I'm gonna murder this clown. I'm gonna find a way to. Now, maybe they could science my ice cream wafer back to health. Maybe it's like a rusty key to a spaceship. Because Spariki's kind of exploded. No? Alright. No, we might as well check out the west side. Since we have nothing else to do besides find jobs. Yep, this is the west side, all along. Don't get run over by the gas tankers. Yeah, I know, they need to put signs up or something. Also, that is a scripted scene, you never ever get hit by a train. At least I haven't. So welcome to the west side! Boats have rupees on them. I'm gonna be a boat toucher when I grow up, there's rupees in that. So, if you ever wanted to get more rupees, you could always just like, you know, touch the boat. I wonder what this lady's doing. Is that a lady? Hey, she's selling fried nuts! No. I I'm remembering something. The early 2000s is coming back to me. That's a lot of nuts! Alright, I had to get that out. It's a reference, yes. You figure it out. Come, gather, wear green clothing. It must be their dance party. So, uh, I'll take some fried nuts. Yeah, I want a sack of fried nuts. You give me a hot sack of fried nuts? No? Okay. What are you giggling for? I just wanted some fried nuts, damn it. Hmm, this looks like work. That skinny fellow is not really doing a great job, though. These guys are not like the robots. So, how are you doing? He doesn't look very young. He just looks scrawny. Well, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna look around your things. 
Ah, fresh fruit is in those sacks. Not fried nuts. Welcome to warehouse number one. Dried persimmons. I wonder if they're selling any. Eh, maybe. I don't know about persimmons, okay? Well, we got this chest here. A freight container. Ah, uh, I want to see if there's rupees inside. Freaky, analyze. Well, that means it might be rupees. You know, like a rock. Lion! Super strength! Yay, rupees! Good job, lion! Ah, looks like he saw the whole show. Yeah, lion is, uh, pretty powerful. 500 forces. Well, maybe. Let's have an arm wrestling competition. If his arm falls off, we get 500 rupees. Looks like Lion found some work. He'll use that power and work with him. Yeah, that sounds like a job for Lion. That guy could take a break or go do some inventory or something. Go ahead, Lion. We need to do the jobs. And try not to hit anybody with them, okay? He, he only threw, like, two boxes. Look at that! That is lion power! Also, we could translate animals if you need that kind of work done. That's real power! Good job, lion. I'm so proud of you. Our little boy has grown up to a working man. So, Lion's doing a great job. Look at that. Look at him go! I know you can do this. He got this. Lion's gonna get his uh, passport. Also, what's this dude doing? He seems to be wolfing down something. And also, I, I, it seems to be like a scripted cutscene. Oh, hey, I have one of those. Uh, it's a little... It's a little sad, though. Do you want a sad wafer? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. Also, when spring turns to summer in, like, two weeks. So, we can't give him a soggy ice cream wafer. Why is he eating ice cream wafers anyway? Maybe this is my job. I I'll handle this. I'm good. I got a... Slingshot here. I'll make him stop. Ah! Ah, that was too late. I'll make you stop. Unhand that wafer. Ah, he's slingshot proof. Maybe this is Kakashi's job. Would you stop eating ice cream wafers for a second so I can do things at you? Stop him from eating those ice cream wafers. That's your job. You are ice cream chaperone hawk. No, that ain't working. Next time on Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love, that's one job down. We still need to find more. Good night, folks. <laughs>